is a jig. So as you've seen, a horrible creaky noise, which started after I put the top mounts on. Definitely got the top mounts. It's another problem. Um, so I'm going to show you what the problem is. I've already started it, obviously. Jack up the vehicle. I've not put an axle stand under it yet because I'm not going to go under just yet. So, um, obviously, take your wheel off. You should know how to do that by now and jack it up by now. I don't need to explain that. If you don't know that part, don't touch cars. Simple. Alright. I'm going to show you what's making that horrid noise. So, I'm going to undo this anti roll bar link. It's a 15mm socket uh, not on the other side. I'm trying to do this one handed if I can, I'm trying to show you as well. So we need to secure that and stop that spinning. I'm sure to Undo it now, yep. Yeah. That's spinning, isn't it? <clears throat> Right, it's been, I'm going to need both hands, so I'll come back once I've got that nut off. Okay, we're back! Hopefully you can see that. There's some getting in the way now. Shouldn't moan really. It's been raining the last couple of days. Anyway, I've got the uh, anti-roll bar drum link off. I'm just going to show you what's going off now. It's not the... Um, anti roll bar bushes, they were new not so long ago. But I'll tell you what the noise is. Hear that? That's what the creek is, and the creek is basically I need to take those back off and re-grease the inside of the hull and the roll bar link that's what I did um, I think it must have been about a year ago now I did the same, the same thing and obviously it looks like it's just dried it out maybe the hot weather's dried it out or something I don't know but I'm going to try, I'm going to take it off and this time I'm going to try and wire brush that area before I put it back on I'm going to document the best I can. It's a bit of a squeeze getting under there. So I'm going to secure the vehicle and I will come back to you. Um, oh, actually, before I actually do this, to get to the bolts here, I do believe they are 13. I need to take this off and just put it out of the way. Um, you should be able to get to the bolts there. So. Let me go ahead and do that on another note. I've been getting a knocking noise. So I'm going to have to replace these. Um, so I think what I'll probably do is I'll take the bar off, re-grease it all, put it back together and go, go get replacement anti-roll bar links. Um, show you what's going off with this one mm. 
making no noise. Now listen to the difference. Hear that? That's exactly the sound I'm hearing. So you may as well replace those while you're at it. So let me get set up and we'll come back. Okay, there's two ways you can get to this. Either you can just undo your uh, track track rod. I've got the name there. Track rod, yeah, track um, track link. <laughs> and you can just basically put your 13 here it's a lot easier without holding the camera so i'm just just showing you how you can do it you can do it that way or or you can come underneath through the front of the car and do it this way the nut is just here Again, much easier to get a ratchet spanner to get my bottom in here and get that, get some of those ordered. So I'll show you that there, I'm going to crack on with this and then I'm going to show you how to get to the other knot. I thought I'd mention if you want to make life a bit easier on this side of the nut you can get a quarter inch um, ratchet on with a little extension and a 13 mil socket on this side of the nut is all but out now they'll talk in there but you get the idea there's not so I'm just going to finish this bit off and I'll come back for the next one now if you come from the front of the vehicle, the other knot is right here. It's a bit of a tight, tight squeeze. Um, some people I know drop the subframe, you don't really need to do that. Um, you can do it without dropping the subframe, so that's not a knot by the way, that's a, just a welder on. Well it is a knot, but it's welded on. So it only comes out the top, bit of a squeeze, bit of a mask ache, turn it bit by bit, but doable. So I'm going to crack on with that. I'm going to focus here, so I'm going to crack on with that, and then we'll attack the other side. Just thought I'd mention, because I've had these odd before, yours might be seized, so it will take a bit of effort. Mine, I could just push. Mine are quite well greased, so I couldn't turn it underneath once I get them going so a bit of an easy job for me but for yourself it might not be as easy what I've done is I've cut the end off a 13 mil so I'm actually fit it in there and turn it now the other side the passenger side sometimes when I first did it I dropped this don't need to do that now because that's the reason why I made this. Uh, let me show you where the knot is. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm the torch. Where have I put the torch? Right, it's here. Oh, there it is. So if I can try and show you. Try and place the torch, just point it there a little bit. Oh, nearly dropped on my head. Let's see if I can just jam it in there for a minute. And yes, uh, just thought I'd mention in case you spot it on the video. I'm aware that this cable has come off somewhere, but I'm not sure where it goes. 
Fucking earth cable, it's not off any of this. Mmm, bit of an odd one. If anyone can point me in the right direction where that actually goes. Um, so I can't see a place where it goes. Mm. I'll have to do a bit of research on that one. Uh, but anyway, back to the video. I'll tell you what, do I'll place my watch on there so I can show you. There you go, that's how it fits. This way, you can easily turn it. There we go. So I'll do that and I'll come back again. Okay, and the final knot. You can get your little quarter inch ratchet on there. Bit of a squeeze, but it's easily doable. So I'm just going to get this off now and then we'll start on uh, quietening this down. Okay, got the bushes off and just as I expected, all the grease has dried out of it and it dries a bone in there. The bushes itself are still in good condition, they've not been changed that long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these a clean. There's a soapy water, a bit of fairy. Actually I don't think this is fairy, I think this is a bit of a car wash. I'll put some fairy in it and give them a good wash. And then change of plan. Can't get the whole bar out. And um, far as I can see, I don't think we can get it out unless we drop the subframe. But alternative method. I know originally I was going to take it off and wire brush it, but I think I can do it with it on the car. I'll just expose this bit here. It's a bit rusty there actually, I feel a bit rough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this area up and I'm going to sand it rather than wire brush. I think it's going to be a bit of an arse getting drilled in there. So I'm just going to use some sandpaper, some fairy liquid, get it nice and smooth as I can and then we'll uh, reassemble. Okay, change my mind again. I've managed to wire brush it a little bit and then use 600 grit and 1200 grit just to get it a little bit smooth and it does feel less bumpy and less rusty. So now to uh, do the refitting so we'll go through that. So I'm going to show you what I do. Just get some grease. Normally I just basically just pack this hole out with a lot of grease, a lot of grease. Looks a bit naughty that, <coughs> don't mind me saying. You could try and open it a bit and put some more in. And 
And then what you want to do, you want to put more some on the uh, actual bar it as well. I like to anyway. So I don't want to be coming back and doing this again. So I'm going to leave it there for that part and then I'll, once I come back uh, we'll show you the refitting and take a coffee break and uh, give the phone a charge because it's down on power now. Okay we're back for the refitting. I'll show you the best way to do it. Just reach for my torch. So this is the most difficult knot to do so Go for this one first and then um, you're better off doing this halfway and then go and do the other one and then tighten it all up. So I'm not going to bore you with me doing it so I'll come back when I'm ready to do the other side. Uh, the trick to this is once you get the bolt in you need to try and turn it by hand by grabbing its thread because it's really tight against these pipes and then you can use an open end spanner not, not one of these and then to finish it off you can use this ring spanner that I've cut um, so always attack this side first on the driver's side because this is going to take you the longest um, once you've got this bite in go get the other one in because if you tighten this one, the other one's going to be an absolute arsehic. So make sure you got a bite on this one, and then a bite on the other one, then come back and tighten this one up. And then uh, tighten the other one up and that's it, your, your driver's side is done. <sighs> okay. I'm in the process of tightening, it's unbelievable how long these things take. So to get the bracket on you can manoeuvre it over this uh, boot. So you need to put this side down first so it's kind of move it up this side down under there and then you can get it over the bush. You could actually go under and get the bush on I think but I've just slid it on from there and make sure the grease is still in there so now to tighten. Now I've already started this halfway just to get a bite on it and then I'll go do the most difficult one under there. So uh, I'll be back when I'm done. Okay that's all done, tightened. That was a bit of an arse ache. I've put the uh, original drop links back on, they do need replacing. But I've put them back on for the purpose of the video because I'm going to demonstrate if this has worked or not, um, I'm 100% sure it, it will have. So let me put the wheels on and then we'll test the car again. 